Welcome to Istanbul! Arrived in my 48th country, Turkey. What's up? I've always wanted to go and I'm here traveling alone in Istanbul. First time in Turkey. So excited. Heard so many good things, especially about the food. For those of you who may not know that Turkey is in use your valid multiple entry Shenzhen visa or US or I think even UK to enter Turkey. But you have to pay for an e-visa which is 20.5 euros and I bought it here. That's valid for 30 days. I'm allowed to stay here for 30 days. To enter Turkey, there are no more travel restrictions. You don't even have to wear a mask. I think I'm the only person who's wearing a mask in the entire flight from Montenegro. Need to buy a SIM card, but before that, I also need to withdraw some money. I still don't know what their currency here because I don't have internet. For you to be able to enter their Wi-Fi here in Istanbul International Airport is to use valid SIM card or a working SIM card, which I don't have, or you need to ask a kiosk. I don't know where to ask, so I'm just gonna buy a local SIM card. So yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go eat some Turkish food and get myself some money. have arrived in my airbnb so i got the keys from here i need to walk down the stairs because there's no elevator so this is the neighborhood seems like a pretty quiet steps down more to go because i'm at the second floor so the way they found floors here is zero one two driver actually not the taxi like a vip car driver that i booked from my airbnb host for one freaking hour no two and a half hours it's it's a mess and i paid 60 euros for that pickup i later found out that uber is working in istanbul i should have hi i am out for the first time in my neighborhood i am trying to find a supermarket i need to know what's the address of my airbnb i need to save it here on google Maps. which establishments are nearby hotel changir there you go and now i can finally walk my airbnb host didn't provide me with any water and that's okay because recently airbnb host doesn't do that anymore you can see there's like a lot of uphills and downhill in this area it's a quiet neighborhood so let's see where we are at it says that we are here there you go i need one of those
I always clean my kitchen utensils and everything that I'm going to be using every time I just book an Airbnb because I have trust issues, you know? Sometimes I don't trust other people's cleaning. I haven't eaten this instant noodles for quite some time now. I think from ever since the start of the year, I would say. Feels like home. Good morning! So, I'm heading out today, but before heading out, I did a couple of errands. Chores, household chores. I did a little bit of laundry and I forgot to give you guys a quick room tour yesterday because I was just out. This is my one bedroom. Right over here is my closet. I already made sure that my stuff are inside just to make myself feel more at home. This is what the view looks like from my bedroom. There's like a really... I wouldn't even consider this as a terrace but you know this is the view finally it's a blue sky today it has been raining and um very cloudy yesterday this is the bathroom it's a little bit messy my living room and dining area that's my dirty couch i would say if i want to lay after heading out that's like my bed and like i said i'm doing my laundry because i have been out for two weeks without doing my laundry i'm just that cheap i don't want to do it or let other people do it for me and go to a laundry shop so that's also one of the downside i would say living in a suitcase is that you think you have a lot but when you don't do laundry in one week you're starting to feel like oh i'm running out of clothes this is the kitchen i'm boiling water for tea and of course a washer this is what <gasps> oh no, nalaglag yung ano ko. I think that's mine. Hala nalaglag, ayun yung ano ko. <laughs> this is what my neighborhood looks like. It's quiet, I would say, but last night there's been like people partying over there. That ends my quick Airbnb here in Istanbul tour. I will go out and grab myself some food and explore Istanbul for the first time. my first morning here in Turkey and of course I want to try the Turkish breakfast I've heard good things about it heard that there's a lot of food during breakfast and I want to try it out I saw on Google Maps a recommended breakfast place I'm gonna show you what Istanbul is like my first impression what it's like to travel alone in Istanbul Ooh, I'm so happy to be here for some reason, I feel like sort of I'm in Saigon, Vietnam. That kind of vibe because of the narrow street. And also at the same time, I feel like I'm in Europe and Asia. It's a mixture. Hmm. That's interesting. I like the business of Asia, that vibe. And also the infrastructures that you get in Europe. So this is what I'm looking at. The Supreme Van Kavlati Turkish breakfast. So it's 100 Turkish Lira per person and this is what it's supposed to look like later. Yum! I'm trying the Turkish tea for the first time. It comes with the breakfast, the Turkish breakfast. Okay, let's try it out. So this is what the Turkish breakfast looks like for 100 Turkish Lira. Yum! It's a lot. It's like a buffet <laughs> right on your table. I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish this all but let's dig in! 
make a lot of bread um, like this raspberry this looks like a chutney and some vegetables they know my favorite is cucumber that's Turkish breakfast for you take a dip of my bread here this egg I saw them doing this the locals doing this so I'm just copying them <laughs> tastes like egg Mm. This is fun. Like I said earlier, it's like a literally a buffet came right at your table. Let's try this. I don't know what this is. It's like a... Oh, that's good. Mm. I just don't know what it is. It's like egg with mash with bread or something. I also ordered fresh orange juice. Mm. I don't know which one I will eat next. I get super excited and overwhelmed at the same time because there's a lot of food and I know I won't be able to finish it all by myself. But cheers to my first Turkish breakfast. I'm out. About to explore Istanbul. But before that, I need to walk uphill to get to Taksim Square and find myself a taxi. I've heard a lot of scams also about like taking taxi drivers. They might charge you a lot and stuff like that. But I'm from the Philippines a little bit. I'm not confident, but I will try my best to find it as cheap as, as possible. So far, I think I hailed three cabs already. And they all said like should be like 300 liras to get there because it's very traffic. To get to where I wanted to go for lunch. Wait, I'm running out of breath, but I can do this. Let's go. I will ask a cab. Hello, uh, Seven Hills restaurant. Okay, how much? Okay, you meet her. Thank you. near the Blue Mosque and I'm trying to find my way to Seven Hills restaurant where I will be having my lunch my first Turkish lunch you guys have seen I did the Turkish breakfast and now we're gonna do a Turkish lunch I paid 170 Turkish Lira for the taxi which is in Uber apps it's like 120 but you know that's how it is my Airbnb is quite far from this area the busy area first look of the blue moss i don't know if you guys can see it but later on we'll get there we'll go inside i also need to buy um a hijab or a scarf because i am not allowed to enter unless i am wearing that and i also have my uh, bolero here i am walking in kabasakal road which has a lot of local produce that i somehow want to buy but i know i don't have any more space or weight in my luggage before i leave turkey i might end up buying one but oh my gosh look at the jewelries okay i i am overwhelmed not gonna lie and one thing that i said if you're in turkey you should buy a shisha or carpet i don't know where i will put the carpet but <laughs> i might also end up buying things that i don't need <laughs> okay let's go get some food before i buy something random Ottoman costume photo. I, I am weak with those kind of jewelries because it's so hard to find those things in other places in the world and most of the stuff that I bought before are from like super fast fashion brands like H&M. I might end up buying one of those jewels. And a shisha, a small shisha, like this, a portable shisha. Turkey flat! <laughs> I must say that this is just the right amount of people. It's not as crowded as I thought that it would be. And by the way, you can see that I'm not wearing a mask anymore. So there are no more restrictions in Turkey when you travel around in Turkey. Uh -huh. I love hummus. 
I ordered grilled salmon. Oh, what is that? Abe. Yeah. Thank you. I met MJ Porter. She said she watches the vlogs. And you're from? Philippines. Philippines. I live in England. Oh, wow. Well, we're in England. In Durham. I'm at the rooftop of Seven Hills Restaurant where you can take photos of the two mosques. And it's for free if you dine in here. But I've noticed there's some people who went here that didn't eat, so maybe you can do it too. I don't know. But yeah, this is, I think, the best spot to take photos of the two mosques. And of course, enjoy a beautiful view. Okay, so I'm not going in any mall today because it's pretty crowded but tomorrow I will try to take photos of it outside early morning if I wake up early. I also need to buy sarong so now I'm walking to Grand Bazaar which will take me Google Maps says 15 minutes to walk. I solely rely on Google Maps because I think 95% of the time it's correct but 5% sometimes no. <laughs> I mean, I can take the tram going to Grand Bazaar, but I chose to walk because, you know, it's for free and also I get to do exercise. Plus, I think walking is the best way to understand more about the city and you get to see more of like nice places or the area, you know what I mean? So rather than taking a public transport. Hey, 10 more minutes until I get to Grand Bazaar. I really hope. Well, let's see if I won't buy anything. What do you guys think? Knowing me, I would say 70%. designer bags here designer like luxury things that you can buy I arrived here Hello. in Grand Bazaar by the way hi <laughs> wanna visit my shop my dear lady no thank you I was expecting you during all day <laughs> starting to get used to that because I've been uh, getting a lot of like hey how are you that's their modus for you to go in in their shop <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I am overwhelmed by the amount of stores and fake luxury bags and people that I'm seeing in one place. I've never been in a place where there's a lot of like good, actually good replicas of luxury items. It actually looks like as if it's real. Oh my gosh, look how many people there is. How much is this? 1,500. 1,500. It looks real. It looks like my bag. Hi. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Hi. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. I'm, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> my next stop after the Grand Bazaar, the overwhelming Grand Bazaar. I'm here in Buyuk Hendek Road and I took a taxi for 150 Turkish Lira to Galata Tower. I'm not gonna go upstairs, Galata Tower, because they don't have an elevator <laughs> and I have to pay for an entrance fee. We're not gonna do that. We'll just take photos by the Galata Tower and call it a day. This will be my uh, last stop for today and I will also give the San Sebastian cake a try because I've been hearing a lot of us about it on TikTok, Instagram, that it is a must try when you're here in Istanbul. And we'll see if it's true. That's the Galata Tower! <laughs> this is the famous San Sebastian 
cheesecake. So you have an option if you just want the cheesecake. But for me, of course, I love chocolate. That's why I ordered the one with melted Belgian chocolate, which is 62 lira. My first try of San Sebastian cheesecake. This laps. Now I understand the hype. You wanna bite? So apparently you can buy a whole cheesecake. Of course, it's okay. Anyone can buy a whole cheesecake. This is what it looks like when there's no chocolate. I specifically ordered the one uh, with chocolate because that's what I've been seeing on TikTok. And this is, oh, apparently this is how they made the chocolate. Didn't notice that this is a chocolate machine. Yum. Not only have the Vienna Sebastian cake, they have other pastries, Danish pastries. This is what the cheesecake looks like without the chocolate. with me in Galata Tower here in Istanbul. As you can see, it's a really popular tourist spot. And guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that there's another Viana Cavesi um, San Sebastian cheesecake place right in front of the tower. Google Maps led me in the wrong one, but there, apparently there are two within the area, just like a few meters away. I must say that it's really hard to take photos here because I would say 90, probably 90%, there will be a photo bomber in your photo. So maybe I should go here next time earlier. And I do have a special guest coming over very soon, too soon actually. And I'm excited to introduce to you guys who it is. <laughs> now I think I'm just gonna walk around and probably walk all the way to my Airbnb because now it's not as hot as earlier. When you go here in Istanbul, make sure you wear comfortable clothes, bring a bottle of water, and wear very comfortable shoes because there will be a lot of walking involved. Especially uphill, downhill, you name it. We're here at the famous Umbrella Street, Umbrella Instagram photo spot in Galata Sokak, in front of this restaurant. Welcome to Istanbul! I didn't know that there's so many shops here in Istanbul. I think every step is like a shop, whether it's small or big shop, it's a lot. Most likely, whatever you need, you'll find it here. Good morning! It's my, my third day here in Istanbul and I have a special guest who flew from the US, who Hello. flew all the way from the US. We're back, Marve is back. I'm not solo traveling for a few weeks again. I'm very excited <laughs> to be back, guys. So, yeah, thanks for doing all the research of and taking me around Istanbul. Yeah, okay. So I'm back here in the Blue Mosque because Martin hasn't seen it yet and it was pretty crowded yesterday. So today is the day that you're gonna see it more prettier, but we won't be able to go in because it's Friday and it opens at 2.30 p.m. We woke up early today so that uh, it'll be uh, less crowded, especially it's a weekend. It's nice to have a photographer again. Hi! <laughs> I'm more than that. <laughs> oh, by the way, I bought this sarong for 120 Turkish lira because I need this to be able to enter to any mosque, like to cover up my hair and my shoulders i even wore a dress i got this thrift tip from tofu store in the philippines yeah this outfit I'm gonna be like this like that ave maria in istanbul we're back at the blue moss i'm wearing shades this time i forgot this forgot to bring this yesterday and it's a must when you're here in istanbul because the, the sun is too bright and it's a little bit harsh on my eyes also you can see it's less crowded it's still crowded but lesser people today so this is a nice photo spot outside of the mosque 
we're gonna check out some other places but since it's still closed we're just gonna take photos out the side of the mosque basically that's it and i'm not so sure if i'll be able to show to you guys what the inside looks like because now 9 a.m and it opens at 2 30 and we still have a lot of places to go to so enjoy the view A lot of you know climbing up and down the stairs in the streets of Istanbul. It's a really workout when you're here. So prepare to be sick of me. <laughs> prepare to be sick of stairs. More stairs. <laughs> There's more stairs. Going to this restaurant, I saw this on um, some of the blogs that this is a nice spot to take photos overlooking Istanbul and with that pretty carpet, that Instagram. I'm just basically an Instagram ho. <laughs> I am. This is the way I travel. If it's a nice place to take photos, I'm gonna go all out, <laughs> you know, just to take that one photo for the gram and also for you guys to show you what it's like. Okay, I think we're here. No, not yet. Table with a view. Nice. Met new friends from Jordan. What's your name? Amir. Amir. And these are your friends also Hi, from Jordan. Uh, hello, guys. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, we want to visit Jordan. What's the best month? The winter. Winter. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, we made it after the stairs, after the workout. We made it here at um, a studio, I Studio in Nova Satinye. I cannot pronounce it, so this is the name of the restaurant. And if you want to take photos with this uh, traditional carpet and with a beautiful view of Istanbul, you have to pay 250 uh, Turkish liras per person, and that's if you have your own cameras, also your phone, you can take your own photos. But if you want a professional uh, photographer, it costs 400. Also wearing a traditional Turkish dress. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Looks good on you. You like it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. Our late breakfast, early lunch. Our brunch is served. This is what we're having. Mixed meat platter and pizza. <laughs> so we're not gonna do um, Turkish breakfast right now. Maybe some other day because we are hungry and we need lots of meat and energy. Instagram spot. We paid 500 Turkish liras for the two of us, 250 per person. And here you can use your phone and your own camera. Nice view. Guys, look at this. They even have a reflector. Aww. <laughs> oh, actually, that was better when you, there was a reflector. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that was a fun experience. It's also nice that we were able to take traditional photos in a rooftop here in. We may not have worn the traditional clothes, but we're happy. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, after that scrumptious brunch and beautiful terrace, we are now in the colorful area of Bilat. Ay, Balat. Balat. <laughs> <laughs> this area is very popular for having its colorful buildings, colorful streets, like that. So we're now entering it. We took the taxi to here for 50 
Turkish liras. We are on the hunt to find a nice Instagrammable spot. There's also a lot of uh, beautiful uh, restaurants and cool hip restaurants and corners like this where you can take photos. You want? <laughs> you take a photo of me. Okay. Yeah, well, we didn't buy anything, but at least we took a photo. <laughs> Thank you! We're trying to find that colorful stairs and houses. The graffitis are also way cooler in this area. Balut. In Tagalog, balat means um, skin. Mm. Yeah, balat or to peel off. Mm. Another uphill. It's like 75 degrees, no? <laughs> Angel, what oh, do you yeah, think? <laughs> like 75 or 25? I don't know. I'm not good at math. I don't know even how I graduate university and I have a bachelor's degree. <laughs> We're still not there. I'm gonna take my time. What you can see behind me is private Fener Greek school. Did I say that right? Fener Greek school. Private one. Looks pretty cool. It's like made out of brick, but it also looks like a castle at the same time. How are you feeling? Working out? <laughs> it's quite a workout actually. Yeah. <laughs> need to find shadow. I know. <laughs> are we going to the top? Yes. See, even cars are having a tough time. <laughs> because it's so steep. Don't be fooled when Google Maps says that it's only a 5 minute walk. It's not. It's gonna be a 10-15 minute walk. It depends on what your pace is. It's a steep road. Yeah, that's one thing that People don't talk about in vlogs, I think, so I wasn't aware. But since that I've been here in Istanbul for quite a few days now, I already know how it's gonna be. And I'm dark again. Okay, now it's downhill time. Now it's downhill time. When it's up, when it's up, when it's up, and it's down, you know? Up, down. We made it to Kiremit Road where all of the Instagram photos that you see in Balat is taken here. I think everyone who's been to Balat in Istanbul has one photo here because contrast with different colors. I wonder if uh, the government asked them, okay, you'll be the house in color blue, you'll be in yellow, you know? So let me know if you're from Turkey, if there is such a thing like that and uh, if the government says what the color of your house should be. It's also hard to take photos here because everyone's like, just want that shot for the gram. Ha! Oh, it's you again! Hi! Hello! Hi! Wow! Looking good! Girls! Hey! Next location in Bilat. We're now at the famous rainbow stairs of Balat, but it's hard to take photos. So I guess we're just gonna take a look at it and it's colorful. It's like as if you're in Brazil. <laughs> Rainbow stairs of Bala. It was so hard to find this. And it's packed. Very packed. Yeah, we're gonna find a place where we can have a drink. Maybe a Turkish coffee for Martin and Turkish tea for me. Because why not? We're in Turkey. It's the best place to find it. Yeah. Okay, we ordered some orange juice, got ourselves a bottle of water, cold water. And just gonna chill here for a little bit. This is called Fenriki, Fenrici Cafe. And look, you're hanging out with Biggie, Martin. And you know, Aliyah. <laughs> 
and I'm the star, huh? Star. Yes, because you're a star. Hey, you're my star. You're my shining star, my love. <laughs> and look how pretty the rooftop is. Just like that. I feel like Balat is the most colorful area of Istanbul. It's easy to walk around. As long as you don't hate stairs or climbing up the hill, you're all good. To wear comfortable shoes and uh, drink lots of water. Maybe you reward yourself with a nice orange juice. Can you hear that peace and quiet even if there's some cars honking from afar? Yes, this is the reason why I decided for us to go in Mili Tarailar Park. So we paid 10 Turkish Liras for the park only but if you want to go in the museum, you have to add 30 Turkish Liras. Unfortunately, we won't be able to go to the museum because we just want to have a peace and quiet here in Istanbul just for a little bit and go to a park look at these beautiful surroundings mm, it's nice I can sleep for a little bit here The last stop for today is the Ortakoy Square where you can also take photos of the Ortakoy Mosque by the water. So I'm gonna take where she's taking the photo. And you can also ride the ferry from here but unfortunately we're not gonna do it in this vlog because we only have a limited amount of time here in Istanbul before we go to Cappadocia. Cappadocia. Uh, the best part is is free so this is the best spot to take a photo of the mosque without people also be careful because it's quite slippery and there's a lot of jellyfish there's also a lot of uh, bistros, restaurants, cafes here in Ortapoy. We're trying to find a place where we can uh, chill and maybe have some si shisha or huka because it's very popular here in Turkey and it's also part of their culture. And I, I want to try it. <laughs> so if you guys want to know how to get here, I think Google Maps is the best way to find this spot and I googled the house cafe so I'm having baklava oh. <laughs> okay mm. Mm. good 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 thank you <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. This is very much customer service to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> very good. I am surprised because we just stumbled upon this restaurant while walking and they do have a beautiful view of this mosque. Why they don't sell the view? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> famous. Oh, famous, yes. Area. Oh, look at that. Why didn't you tell us? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Yeah. We could have done the hookah here. <laughs> so you come to the restaurant, ask for a sekran. He will take you there. <laughs> Sakran loves to take photos. Now he's shooting of Ava. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. Aww. Yeah? It's good? Yeah. Okay, guys. Apparently, they have a really, really nice view of here. Thank you, Serkan. <laughs> the best waiter. Oh my gosh, look at this view we have. What bridge is this? The name of the bridge? Bos Kupusu. Bos Kupusu Bridge. And Ulujami Mosque. Oh wow, I haven't seen this in any vlog. So if you're going here, look for look for Serkan. I will be putting the name of the restaurant right here. 